Hey there, Brent Spilly here from thirstgym.com, and today we're talking about called the Kettlebell Saw Bear Hold. Our first exercise, ideally you're going to want a kettlebell. You can use a dumbbell if you have to. The kettlebell is just going to make it a little bit uh, easier to hold in a neutral base position, but you can make way with a dumbbell if you need to. And so we're going to go over our bear hold position here first as we do our saw aspect of it. So for my bear position, I want to make sure my hands are underneath my shoulders, my knees are underneath my hips, and to create an optimal bear position, I want my knees to be hovering off the ground. So we're talking two to four inches. We don't want to have them way up here. We actually want to try to shoot our knees away from our belt and then pull our belt buckle towards our face and our hands are actually going to actively reach from the ground. So I'm trying to arch or make my back as round as possible. It's going to get that lumbar to relax. It's going to bring our pelvis underneath this and get our abdominals to really own and forcefully get a good contraction here as I actually try to pull that in. So it's not necessarily about a crunch perspective, it's about using the abdominals to almost vacuum or push our back backwards, or in this case, up towards the ceiling. Once we've got our bear position owned, then we can actually hold the kettlebell for our saw. So here I'm in my bear position and I'm just going to saw this back and forth, trying to stay as square as I can but then moving it back and forth, as you can tell, that's pretty hard. And then I'm gonna to go to the other side here, three point position stance, reach, and then saw. So not only is this gonna have our normal bear position benefits, but moving our arm, we get some upper rotation from the scapula as we go to do that. But then we're also gonna get uh, some anti-rotation, some anti-lateral flexion from it as well. It's gonna prevent us from having to be nice and arched here, really trying to force that. And it's just gonna challenge our overall trunk stability. So I really like this for anywhere from two to four sets, about five to 10 reps per side. Um, you know, the more advanced you are, the more reps you can do, you can up the weight of the kettlebell. But I promise you, you're not gonna need like a 40 or 50 pound kettlebell. 10 to 25 pounds is probably gonna be where most people are for an exercise like this, especially if your surface is relatively smooth and it can move very well on that surface. So if you haven't have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks, have a great day.